Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by John Sientan. India assured the world community that it is committed to protect at least 30% of land, water and ocean and adhere to its commitment of 13 to 30 by 2030. Delivering the India statement at the UN Ocean Conference at Lisbon yesterday, Minister for Earth Sciences Dr. Jidendra Singh said that under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, all efforts are going on to achieve the 13 to 30 target in a mission mode as per the COP resolutions. Singh said he is at the UN Forum to present Modi's vision for conservation and sustenance of ocean and ocean resources before the world. Union Minister of Tribal Affairs Arjun Munda launched the second phase of the Going Online Earth Leaders GOL program in New Delhi yesterday. Munda also felicitated leaders of the first phase of the program. Speaking on the occasion, Munda highlighted that the first phase of GOL has seen changing the lives of tribal youth through the digital mentorship program. He emphasized that the second phase will reach out to 10 like women and youth on the penis. Munda said this program will also create a platform for more than 50,000 self-help groups and 10 like families associated with Trifet to take their products global. Munda stressed that digitally empowering tribal communities would contribute significantly to the socio-economic development of the country and an important step towards creating a flourishing community of tribal leaders. Education and Skill Development Minister Tramendra Pratan stressed the need to adopt innovative and out-of-the-box methods to enhance access to quality and affordable education. Addressing the India Today Education Conclave yesterday, Pratan spoke about the need to bring India's vast population under the formal education and certified skills structure. Duck Garma Yogi, an e-learning portal of the Department of Post, was launched by Communications Minister Ashwini Vaishnav and MOS Communications, the Wusin Chauhan, in Delhi yesterday. This portal has been developed under the vision of Mission Karma Yogi, which was conceptualized by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to bring efficiency to the actions of all government employees. Duck Karma Yogi portal will enhance the competencies of about four like Gramin Duck Sevaks and departmental employees. It will also enable all the trainees to access the uniform standardized training content online or in blended campus mode. On successful completion of final summative assessment, a system-generated course completion certificate will be sent to the trainees registered email IT automatically. The Drugs Controller General of India, DCGI, has given restricted emergency use authorization to Pune-based Serum Institute of India's COVID-19 vaccine, Covovax, for children aged 7 to 12 years. Earlier, DCGI's Subject Expert Committee, SEC, recommended emergency use authorization for Covovax for children aged 7 to 11 years. After SEC's recommendation, DCGI reviewed the recommendation and has given restricted emergency use authorization. Chief Minister Nipirio has congratulated the people of Newland on the inauguration of Newland District. In a tweet yesterday, the Chief Minister wished the citizens peace and prosperity on its journey ahead. Rio expressed hope that the people of the district set good example and cooperate with the government for all-round development. Deputy Chief Minister Wai Button also extended his best wishes to the people of the district. Button wished that the district grow in leaps and bounds, contributing significantly to the story of Nagaland and be a source of inspiration and blessings for all. Commemorating the Memorial Day of late Captain N. Kenguruse, a solemn ceremony was organized at War Memorial of late Captain N. Kenguruse at Peja Village yesterday. Marking the occasion, wreaths were laid by Niselie Kenguruse, father of Captain Kenguruse, Major General Vikas Lakera, Sena Medal Inspector General of some Rifles North, and many other senior officers. A eulogy was read out by an officer of the Assam Rifles. To mark the event, a tree plantation drive was also organized 
which sow plantation of saplings by family members and the army officers. Young school children were also invited to the event. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.